Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another AJS TV video. Today, we are talking about the departure and the potential arrival of a few players to Aston Villa. The season has barely ended and we're already discussing the departure of Ashley Young. Now, this hits me very hard because this is the second time Ashley Young is leaving. The first time I was, I think, 10 or 11 years old. And it cut me deep. He was a player I loved as a kid. He helped grow my love into the sport. You know, I've watched him at the Villa uh, from a very young age. And I was very sad when he left to Manchester United. Um, when we announced that we signed him uh, back at Aston Villa as a defender from Inter Milan, I was very excited. It, it took me back to how I felt as a kid. And last season, he played 32 games, uh, way more than I think he expected to play for Villa. And he was exceptional. Scored a great goal away at Nottingham Forest. I think he'll be truly missed at Villa. If you look into the replies on Twitter, a lot of people are upset. Um, especially because he did a tweet saying he wanted to play in Europe like he did in 2010 with Aston Villa the last time he was here. That is a very, very sad departure for Villa. I'd love to know what you guys think. I'm hurt. Hopefully we get you know squad depth in. Now we're in Europe. We need a lot of players. A lot of good players for rotation. Um, Ashley Young leaving doesn't really help with that so hopefully we can bring in uh, some players to fill his role because he's played left back he's played right back he's quite a utility player for Villa so we definitely need some investment transfer news that is actually positive you may have seen Marco Asensio is apparently set to join Aston Villa on a free transfer um, Real Madrid I'm, I'm very surprised actually to uh, to see him leave he lost his place in the Real Madrid squad to Rodrigo a while back. He's never really got himself, you know, consistently back into the Madrid starting lineup. And I think it's one of the main reasons why he wants to leave. A lot of people are surprised uh, that he's choosing Aston Villa, but Unai Emery, just like Marco Asensio, is Spanish. And I think he has tried to put over the potential project that we have uh, at Aston Villa. We're in the, the Europa Conference League. We could be pushing for top six. You know, maybe a bit beyond that in a few years to come. So I think Marco Sensio is a fantastic signing. There's very little risk as well because with a free transfer, there's no there's no risk of spending money that we might not get back. You look at Coutinho, we spent roughly twenty million pounds on Felipe Coutinho, and we're not going to get well any resale back on that, I don't think. But with Sensio going on a free, I think it's fantastic a uh, piece of business for Aston Villa. And there's, I, I don't think there's anything that could possibly go wrong. He's 27 years old. Um, I think he could still improve. I really do. Only a few years ago, people were looking at Asensio and saying he could be a world beater at Real Madrid. And uh, hopefully he can prove how good he is in the Premier League. We'd love to see it. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll be doing more transfer news about Aston Villa or anything to do with Aston Villa in the summer to keep. Uh, your eyes on this channel and I'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching. See you again very soon. Up the villa.